Tens of millions of Americans listen to NPR weekly, but the future of its syndication could be in jeopardy under a Trump administration. Elon Musk is renewing calls to defund the media platform after sharing this controversial video of NPR CEO Catherine Marr, who is less than a year into the position. I think our reverence for the truth might become, might have become a bit of a distraction that is preventing us from finding consensus and getting important things done. Elon Musk captioned the video with this question. Should your tax dollars really be paying for an organization run by people who think the truth is a distraction? It's not the first time this year there's been calls to defund NPR. The CEO was asked to testify on Capitol Hill over NPR's political biases, but Marr declined due to a scheduling conflict. Controversy hit the outlet earlier this year when veteran NPR editor Yuri Berliner took aim at the outlet for what he called a blatant left-wing bias, then blasted Marr as having divisive views and resigned after a 25-year tenure. Berliner's grievances against NPR stirred up the news cycle in April, with Trump chiming in then, demanding for NPR to be defunded, quote, not one dollar. Fast forward six months, and the former president is once again president-elect, raising the question of whether the sentiment to defund NPR stands. Elon Musk is one of multiple Trump allies recently questioning if NPR should continue receiving federal funds. New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, who Trump is tapping for his second administration, also shared her grievances with the outlet this election cycle. Stefanik posted on X about an NPR reporter who Stefanik says misled voters in her district. She begins the post accusing the New York NPR affiliate of, quote, election interference, ending the post with, I will defund NPR. NPR receives funding from donors and sponsors and receives federal funds through a grant established by Congress in 1967. NPR's website says the elimination of federal funding would immediately result in fewer programs and less journalism and eventually the loss of public radio stations. Thanks for watching our news update. For more stories that matter to you, download the Straight Arrow News mobile app or visit us online at san.com.